In Tyneside, George, Alfred and Edward Black created a circuit of luxurious cine variety theatres known as Black's Regals. George Black was one of the pioneers of the cinema industry. He first transformed an old Presbyterian church in Sunderland to what may have been the first permanent cinema ever established in Great Britain. The Black Brothers established a tradition in the cinema and variety world and their name became a byword for entertainment in the early 30s. They had run cine variety as far back as 1912 and had twice built up circuits of theatres which they disposed of to other combines. This happened first in 1919 and again in 1928. After establishing large capacity modern cinema theatres in Sunderland, Gateshead, Biker and South Shields, they sold out again, this time to Odeon Theatres. Their new regal at Sunderland was in black and buff terracotta, with red and black ornaments enhanced by a veranda of lacquered gold. Auditorium illumination was by means of thousands of electric lamps set close together, forming lines behind cornices and apertures covered with glass. Light came from all directions and there was no glare or shadows. Considerable thought had been given to the seating for 2,500 people. There were 1,750 seats in the stalls and 750 in the circle. The auditorium had a fine fibrous plaster ceiling and the walls and a dome in the ceiling under the balcony were richly decorated. There were fine ornamental ventilation grills, organ grills and canopies. The magnificent Compton organ was a great asset. It was a three manual model and the pipework was contained in a chamber to the left of the proscenium arch. The organ was played from a plain wooden console placed centrally in the orchestra pit. The case was designed in accordance with the theatre's decorations. The first organist was J. Arnold Eagle, himself born in Sunderland. Mr. Eagle was also director of the theatre orchestra.